Dear Cuddy families, this is Mr. Miller, and we're here to talk a little bit about the start of school. We are so excited to be having our students coming back to hybrid learning, or some of our students to be staying in comprehensive distance learning. Let me remind you, if you are part of cohort B, you will be starting April 1st in the morning at 8.50. If you're part of cohort A, you're gonna be starting on April 5th in the morning at 8.50, and our comprehensive distance learning student cohort will continue and their instruction will be starting on April 1st. Today we want to review a little bit about the procedures and what school is going to look like as you're coming back. One thing to always remember that here at Powell Butte safety comes first and therefore when you're in the building you're always going to be wearing a mask and you're always going to be social distancing and following our safety expectations. And we're going to be reviewing some of them today in this video. All right, to help out today, we have three students that are going to be modeling our different procedures starting the first day. Social distancing is required at all times. There will be two entrances at the front of the school. Kinder's second, fourth, and sixth grade will enter through the main doors. And first, third, and fifth grade will enter through the 174th entrance. Arrival for walkers. Gates and doors for walkers will be opened at 8.35. Students will need to wear a face mask and social distance even when outside. Students must then walk themselves to class. No parents or siblings who don't go to the school will be allowed inside. We will have extra staff available to assist students in finding their class. Arrival for buses. Buses will arrive at 8.35 and we will let students off one bus at a time. Arrival for drop-offs. Students will wait in cars until 8.40. Staff members with orange vests will let students out one by one. Parents will be asked to stay in their cars. Entering the building. All students will be visually screened for masks and symptoms when entering. Social distancing is always required at school. Students will also be asked to use hand sanitizer before heading to class. Classroom expectations. School supplies will be provided for every student. Chromebooks will also be provided if needed. Lunches will be provided at the end of each day. We will also be continuing to have weekly lunch and breakfast bags available for pickup, but we will be changing the day to Wednesdays, 11.30 to 1.30. Please bring full water bottles to school. Water fountains will be turned off. Also bring face masks to the school. We will have extras though if students need. Please do not bring any snacks to school. Using the restroom. Each class will have one red pass. Two students are allowed in one bathroom at a time to allow for maximum social distancing. When entering, Hang your pass on the hooks and head inside. Two red passes mean you have to wait. Social distancing is required in restrooms as well. One person will be allowed to use the sink at a time and stalls and urinals will be blocked off to allow for social distancing. Don't forget to head grab your pass when you head back to class. Good job, Miss Cass. Recess. Masks and social distancing are required during recess. We will be providing recess or breaks at least 15 minutes each day. Cohorts always stay together, so if you wander too far off, you'll be called back. Dismissal. Students being picked up will be released at 11.45. Students who take the bus will be released when the buses arrive around 11.57. Students who walk will be released after bus students. All right, Cowdies, that is what your first day is going to look like. Remember, if you have questions in the next couple of weeks, your teachers will be reaching out and answering those questions. Also make sure to check the weekly messages. And remember, at Palview, we always show our coyote pride.